With the best-in-class performance of the Wilton Pro 4000 and 4000R cellular amplifiers, we've included an intuitive yet powerful information center to let the integrator or installer get the most out of their system. I'll show you how to use the interface so you can take full advantage of what these amplifiers have to offer. Both the Pro 4000 and 4000R feature the same interface using a color LCD screen and button pad. When you first boot up the amplifier, you'll see the status screen consisting of a 4x5 matrix. On the left of the screen, you'll see the antenna ports and along the top each frequency band. Each circle is a status indication. Green means everything is working properly. With a green circle, you are either running at full gain or the gain has been reduced by AGC. A yellow circle indicates an oscillation issue. The amplifier will reduce its gain to deal with the oscillation and tell you it has done so with a yellow indicator. A red circle means that that particular antenna port has shut off. Selecting any port and band and pressing enter will display more information on that band. On the right side of the screen, you'll see the amount of gain being applied. The screen will either display full gain, or in the case it has cut back gain due to oscillation or overpowering, it will display AGC and the amount of gain it is currently using. On the left of the screen, you'll see real-time signal meters for the uplink power from any handsets being used within the building and downlink power from the tower. The downlink meter is particularly useful as you can use this to tune the antenna exactly where you want it for best performance. Have one installer on the roof adjusting the antenna while a second installer watches the meter and relays the information, all without the need for extra equipment. Pressing menu again will take you back to the status screen. In the event that you aren't using all of the available ports on the amplifier, you can shut off any of the unused ports easily. Simply navigate to the unused port and press enter. This will disable the port to alleviate any possible issues.